Hi Titans, my name is Dylan Cruz and I'm a sophomore at Todd Beamer High School. I, I've come to talk about Hispanic Heritage Month. My father was born in Mexico and my mother was born here in the United States. I'm so glad to live in a culturally diverse family. Each year, Americans observe National Hispanic Heritage Month from September 15th to October 15th. By celebrating the histories, cultures, and contributions of American citizens whose ancestors came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. Buenos dias, Titans. Uh, my name is Shadis Acuna Kaler. I am one of um, the teachers that teach English to the immigrants that come to our school. I have been here since the second year the school was open. And I also, I am from Costa Rica, very proud Latina. Um, and um, I'm supporting the Latino club and all the students that form part of that culture. Uh, we support, it's a very important uh, part of who we are. And on this uh, map where we belonged all together to make a better uh, country for all of us. Thank you. Uh, this is Mrs. Martin, Spanish teacher. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Hello guys. Did you know did you know that we are celebrating in America the Hispanic Heritage Month? Yes. Okay. What do you think is a Heritage Spanish Month? Um that we recognize that us Latins are a part of the United States and that we should be recognized too. Okay. And what about you? What do you think? I feel I, I feel the same too. That us, us Latin people should we belong in America. In okay, States. good. Yeah. And uh, how many languages do you speak? Two. English what? and Spanish. Yeah. How I speak many two languages? English and Spanish too. Okay, that's great. <laughs> well, I I think that Latinos have contributed many things to the United States to help us be better. And the one Latino that I'm thinking of in particular, when I was younger, I remember um, Cesar Chavez organizing demonstrations and ha helping the workers um, get better pay for their work because uh, people would boycott the grapes. And that was a movement all across the United States and it made, um, helped, th helped the workers get better pay. And also um, all the Latinos that I know um, that I have worked with in the past have been very hardworking and they have contributed greatly to, to um, the United States. Cesar Chavez was an American labor leader and civil rights activist. Along with Dolores Huerta, he co-founded the National Farm, Work Farm Workers Association. Mexican-American journalist, activist, and suffragist Idai bravely fought the injustices in her time. She was a woman civil rights fighter and activist and the first American Hispanic woman journalist in the United States. Mm -hmm. okay. Severo Ochoa, he became the first Hispanic American to receive a Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. Mario Molina, Nobel winning Mexican chemist who made key climate change findings. He discovered that chlorofluorocarbons were responsible for a thinning ozone layer and was key, that was a key finding about climate change.
Hi, my name is Mrs. Howe and I am the French teacher here at Todd Beamer. Uh, I began studying languages when I was in high school in ninth grade and I was a Spanish student. I loved Spanish and wanted to continue learning it so I went on to college and studied Spanish and after that was able to study French because I already knew one language and it helped me with the, the next language. So I've traveled a lot. I've lived in South America and Central America. I love the Latino culture and I'm glad that we can celebrate it today. Ellen Ochoa made her mark by becoming the first Hispanic American woman to go to space with nine day mission in 1993. Ochoa made history on board the space shuttle Discovery on a mission to study the Earth ozone layer. Gloria Stefan, she is considered the Latin artist who broke down the barriers of Latin music in the international market and opened the doors to several Latin artists such as Selena. Selena was an American singer, songwriter, spoke person, businesswoman, model, actress, and fashion designer. Ranks among the most influential Latin artists of all time. Sonia Sotomayor, a Bronx native of, of Puerto Rican descendant, Sonia Sotomayor became the first Hispanic American to serve as a member of the Supreme Court. Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Soy señora June y soy maestra aquí en Todd Beamer. Enseño español 1 y 2 y ELA Progressing. So I started learning Spanish probably starting from my uh, freshman year in high school. And I just fell in love with the language and the culture and the people, of course. So it was really easy for me to learn the Spanish because I have so much interest in it. And it just kept going. And then so when I went to college, um, I really wanted to learn more. So I started um, majoring in Spanish. And the one thing that I really fell in love with the language is probably um, Latin music. I love La Musica. So that really helped me to learn more about the culture and the language itself. So I think that's how I really got in, in love with the love of the Spanish language. Milka Duno, born April, 19, April 22nd, 1972, is a Venezuelan American race car driver who competed in the IndyCar series, competes in the ARCA racing. She is best known for holding the record of highest finish for a female driver in the 24 hours of Daytona, she entered the NASCAR National World Series. <laughs>